Hi everyone. Welcome to the journey of maths with Sara, a true lover of maths. There is a famous saying in Chinese, learning is a treasure that will follow its owner everywhere. So whatever be your age, don't stop learning. I am back with one more video on Vedic maths that is base 15 method. If we want to multiply two numbers near to 50, what is the method? We can use general method, but Vedic maths is for quick multiplication. So one more method is there that is called base 50 method. According to Vedic maths, we can apply base method directly for the powers of 10. For the powers of 10, that is 10, 100, 1000, etc. We can apply base method directly. It means we get the answer only in one step in base 10, 100, 1000, etc. For other bases, we have to take two bases. One is the theoretical base and other one is the working base. We have to take two bases. One is the theoretical base and other one is the working base. Here I am taking theoretical base or simply base as 100 and working base and working base 50. We have to take two bases. One is theoretical base and working base. Since there are two bases, there are two steps too. Two bases, so two steps too. What are the two steps? First step, perform necessary operations as in base 100 method. We have learned base 100 method. So I am taking theoretical base as 100 here. We can take other bases too that I will explain later. Since we have learned base 100 method, I am taking theoretical base as 100 and working base as 50. Two bases, so two steps. First step, perform necessary operation as in base 100 method. Means proceed as in base 100 method. Second step, divide or multiply the result proportionately. Divide or multiply the result proportionately. This is named as Anu Rupa Yena in Vedic Maths. Anu Rupa Yena means do the operation proportionately. Do the operation proportionately. Here we are taking 50 is to 100. We are taking 50 as working base and theoretical base as 100. So the ratio is 50 is to 100 that is 1 is to 2. Means we will multiply the whole sec uh, left hand side using 1 by 2 or divide the equation using 1 by 2. I will explain it with the help of an example then it will be clear to you. I am going to multiply 58 and 52. I am going to multiply 58 and 52. 58 is 8 more than 50. And 52 is 2 more than 50. Proceed the operation as in base 100 method. First of all you have to watch my Vedic Maths part 3 and part 4. Okay. Now perform the operation as in base 100 method. Means multiply vertically. 8 to are 16. Write 16 here. Now add diagonally. So 52 plus 8 is 60. First step, proceed the operation as in base 100 method. It is not complete. Now what is the second step? Divide or multiply the result proportionately. What is the ratio here? Working base 50 and theoretical base 100. So the ratio is 1 is to 2. All 50 is half of 100. So we will divide the left hand side using 2. So the answer is 13, 16. Right side will remain unaffected. Reason is actually 60 is not 60. This is 6000. 6000. Half of 6000 plus 16 is the actual procedure. Half of 6000 plus 16 is the actual procedure. So the final answer is 30, 16. 
I will explain this method using algebra in my next class. Then it will be clear to you. In it, uh, now, understand this much. Only divide the left hand side because left hand side is 60 but the complete answer is 6000. Half of the 6000 is 3000. There is no need to do that much. It's 30 and this is 60. Write 16 as it is. Okay. We will do one more question. Here both the numbers are above the base. Now both the numbers are below the base. 46 into 44. Suppose we want to multiply 46 and 44. Here 46 is 4 less than 50. We are taking working base as 50. 46 is 4 less than 50. So write minus 4. And 44 is 6 less than 50. So write minus 6. Multiply vertically. 6 fours are 24. Now subtract diagonally. So 44 minus 4 is 40. Now what is the next step? Perform the operation as in base 100 method. That step is over. Second step. Divide or multiply the result proportionately. 50 is to 100 is 1 by 2. 1 is to 2. So 50 is half of 100. Only dividing the left hand side using 2. We get the answer as 20, 24. Again I am telling its reason is half of 4000 plus 24 is the actual procedure we are doing here. But we can do it like this because it is quick maths. Half of 40 is 20. So final answer is 2024. Okay, we will do some more questions. One more question. That is 54 into 48. 54 into 48. First question. Both the numbers above the base. Second question, both the numbers below the base. Third pattern, one number above the base and one below. One above the base and one below. Then 54 is 4 greater than 50. 48 is 2 less than 50. So write plus 4 and minus 2. Do the operation. 4 2 is 8. Plus 4 minus 2. So the answer is minus 8. Since base 100, write 0, 8. So, minus 0, 8. Okay? Now, perform the operation diagonally. 48 plus 4 or 52 minus 2. Both are same. 54 minus 2 is 52. Actually, this is 52, 100. Divide it by 2. Next step, divide or multiply the result proportionately. So, divide it by 2. We get 2 2s are 4, 2 6s are 12, 26 is 2600. We have to subtract 8 from 2600. So, what is the final answer? 2, 9, 5, 2. So, the final answer is 2, 9, 2, 5, 9, 2. 2592. I hope all of you remember base 100 method. In base 100 method, there are three cases. Both the numbers above the base, both the numbers below the base, one number above the base and one below. That method, proceed the same method, then do, uh, divide the result proportionately and subtract. Divide the result proportionately, then subtract. Okay? Is it clear? Okay, we will practice some more questions. First question, multiply 46 and 47. How can we multiply? Proceed as in base 100 method. So write the deviations from 50 first. 46 is 4 less than 50 and 47 is 3 less than 50. Now what is the next step? Multiply diagonally. 4 3s are 12. Minus 4 minus 3. Minus into minus plus. So plus 12. Now, do the operation diagonally. 47 minus 4 is 43. Okay? Now, what is the next step? Divide the result proportionately. Anurupayena. So, 
15 is to 100 is 1 is to 2 divide left hand side using 2. Look at this question carefully. I am uh, going to divide 43 by 2. You will get 2 twos are 4. 2 1 is 2 and a half is here. Then 12. Okay. Half means this is nothing but 4300. This is nothing but 4300. We are, write, we are writing here half of 4300. We are writing here half of 4300. What is half of 4300? 2 2 are 4. 2 1 is 2. 10. 2 1 5 0. Isn't it? The same. We have to half of 100 is 50. So, we are not doing this much process here. Half of the calculation is mental calculation. So, 20, 21 and a half means 2150 plus 12. So, the final answer is 2162. I hope it is clear to you. 43 means actually it is 4300 and half of 4300. That is the procedure we are doing here. That is 21 and a half. Half means half of 100. Half of 100 is 50. That is why it is 2150. Plus 12, 2162, 2162. Okay, we will practice some more questions. First question, 52 into 46. One number above the base and one number below the base. Then, 52 is 2 more than 50 and 46 is 4 less than 50. What is the first term? 4 twos are 8. This is minus 8. Okay? Now, what is 46 plus 2? 46 plus 2 is 48. Is it complete? No, only first step is over. What is the step? second step? Divide proportionately. Means 48 upon 2 is 24. Actually, this is 2400. Half of 4800 is 2400. Subtract 8 from 2400. So what is the final answer? 2, 9, 3, 2. So the final answer is 2, 3, 9, 2. One more question. 56 into 47. 56 into 47. 56 is 6 more than 50. And 47 is 3 less than 50. Observe carefully. First, multiply vertically. 6 3s are 18. Plus 6 minus 3. So, minus 18. Okay? Now, 47 plus 6 or 56 minus 3. What is that? 53. Is it completed? No. Second step remaining. Divide it by 2. Divide 5300 by 2. So, what is the answer? 2 2s are 4, 13, 2 6 are 12, <coughs> then half of 100. 26 and a half means half of 100. What is half of 100? Half of 100 is 15. 26 and a half can be written as 26, 50. 26, 50. Now, subtract 18 from 26, 50. So, what is the final answer? 2, 3, 6, 2. So the final answer is 2,632. Is it clear? Don't get confused. 53 means 5,300. 48 means 4,800. Half of 4,800 is 2,400. So, we are subtracting 8 from 2,400. Half of 5300 is what? 2650. 26 and a half means 26. Half of 150. 2650 minus 80. We get the answer as 2632. Hope it is clear to you now. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you are enjoying it. Keep practicing. I will be back with more videos on Vedic Maths. Thank you.